Hello and welcome to City Edition, the City of Bend's video news magazine. I'm Justin Feinstone. First up this month, an update on the urban growth boundary expansion and what the Planning Commission is doing to finish their part of the process. The role of the Planning Commission in the urban growth boundary expansion is to uh, work closely with staff to conduct the necessary analysis in, in, to expand the urban growth boundary, which represents the future of Bend over the 20-year planning horizon. Well, the Planning Commission is an advisory body to the City Council, so one of their responsibilities is to uh, consider in advance of the City Council any major land use or transportation planning issues that might come before the City. The Council uh, interviewed and appointed these people, and uh, they've worked many, many hours, hundreds and if not thousands of hours over the last couple of years to really give us a, a, a product that is both defensible legally and is something that can be supported by the broader community. Our direction by the City Council was to maximize the size of the UGB. Uh, we have gone through a thorough analysis with staff on exactly how many acres will be necessary over the next 20 years, both for residential lands and for employment lands. Based upon that, we're approximately 3,500 acres for residential and 2,500 of employment lands. So navigating all the particular uh, requirements under the state land use planning framework and integrating that with the public comment has been perhaps the singular most important challenge that the Planning Commission has faced. Well, there was a backlash uh, from the initial approach by the city on the UGB. As a result of that, we've decided to have a much more transparent process. We've had a tactical advisory committee, uh, which are professionals within the, the community, advising us, the, the Planning Commission, along with staff, uh, as to certain aspects of the expansion of the UGB and we have weekly meetings and public testimony uh, periodically throughout that process. One of the differences that I think the community might see this time around as opposed to a year ago is that uh, the places where we anticipate the city growing are really sort of all around the perimeter as opposed to last year where it was really much more heavily concentrated in the Northeast. Uh, anytime any city in Oregon proposes to amend or expand its urban growth boundary, it's required to follow a very detailed, uh, complex, prescriptive process under state law. So we have to be careful that we're being consistent with state law as we, as we go through the process. There's a lot at stake for uh, expanding the urban growth boundary in conformance with state law, uh, aligned with solid planning principles. Uh, another reason uh, why it's uh, such a challenge for Bend is because it has huge implications for growth and for growth management. Uh, that affects directly our quality of life. One of the most important things that the council hopes to get out of this increase in the urban growth boundary is figuring out where we're going to have a couple thousand more acres of employment land. Um, what's happened is that we have an extreme shortage right now and what's me what that means is we've got a lot of local businesses that are doing well even in this poor economy they want to expand and we don't really have a whole lot of places to offer them so the quicker we can get them that relief the better for the entire community. Right now we are so backed up against the existing UGB that the land prices have gone up dramatically and have not served the needs of this community. We are lo losing a lot of jobs to Redmond and elsewhere as a result of their land prices versus ours. I think by bringing in this 5,500 acres it's going to make a dramatic change in the valuation of property and, af and afford additional opportunities for industry to come here. For the past year we've listened very attentively to the public who have told us that they want to see the urban growth boundary expand both north, south, east, and west. We're looking at where new neighborhoods will be located, where new industrial parks will be, new schools, new commercial centers, and the question of how all this ties together, not only within the expanded urban growth boundary, but also how it connects to the rest of the existing city and works well as a whole. You know, the cost of housing will probably come down a little bit because there's been an increase in supply of land that will reduce the price. And we anticipate with the increase in employment land, we'll be more able to attract new businesses and to help existing businesses expand. So really bring more of the family wage jobs to the community that we so desperately need. 